a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Um, sorry, my computer shut down for a second. So I get a lot of questions of why we need an office. Um, we did end up leasing an office. We got a really good deal on a 450 square foot office and an office building here in town. Um, we have one full-time admin and one part-time admin. Yes, they can work virtually from home, but the it's a two-part office. The front part of our office is supplies. Um, as we have anywhere from depending on the week in between hiring and firing anywhere from nine to 11 scoopers. Well, we go through, you know, having 850 yards plus that we do a week and we go through a lot of supplies. Uh, when I order supplies, I, <laughs> I'm almost to the point of getting a skid of trash bags, ordering a whole pallet, you know, and we, we go through a lot of supplies, a lot of sanitation stuff. Um, and just, general things break you know the buckets break so they're brought back in here and i put screws in them and fix them sometimes the rakes they'll start spinning around which they can duct tape those and be just fine um unless there's somebody with a, a small vehicle and then they like they like to break them and make them collapse them you know so it fits better but the office um i went back and forth on an office for a long time it's it's money i don't want to spend but it's one of those evil necessaries because when I'm at home, now that I have a 21 month old son, you know, he's almost two, I, I can't do everything I do at home. There's I just not, he requires too much attention. You know, my wife, she leaves me alone. My oldest daughter who's 17, she leaves me alone when I'm working. Um, uh, my office at the house is the nursery now. It's where my, it's my son's room. I mean, so I was, I'm sitting on the couch with my laptop working. Um, it it kind of worked. But then I was like kind of bouncing around the idea. I was like, well, what if I had an office or a place to go? And I wasn't looking for a space this big. I wasn't looking for anything this big. But this just kind of fell in my lap after going to a few and trying to, you know, every time I would email, call, message, text about an office space. By the time I had found it and, you know, and got a hold of them, it was already leased. Uh, all the at-home workers there that weren't going back to work or leasing these spots. So they're, they're hard to find without paying an a strong, you know, huge amount. I mean, some people were just way out, you know, you know in gouging people. Um, so in this office, there's my desk, a full-time admin desk, and a part-time admin desk, you know, and we have all computers set up at all of them. Um, they all have computers that, that are laptops at home that they can work home if they're sick or something happens with the kids or so they do work virtually from home, but I've noticed production. Uh, when you're here at the office, your everybody's production goes up because you're here, you're focused. There's not all the distractions going on at home. A lot more production gets done. Uh, so that was reason number one. Reason number two was because my wife was on me for all the supplies being, I had two storage units plus stuff at the house, stuff at my house, and I had two other houses that were close friends and family that they had stuff at their house. So no matter where the scoopers were in town, they could get supplies. Um, I got tired of everybody invading my space people were showing up at eight nine o'clock at night to get supplies and i'm like why so late you know why not come by in the morning you know why you know and you know my son the dogs bark they do their job well it wakes my son up in the mornings or it wakes my son but if they come super late at night it'll wake my son up um, so that was kind of the second reason was personal privacy. You know, my home is when I go home, I want to be home. Yeah, I've got my phone out. Yeah, I've got the laptop and the iPad there. There's a little bit of work getting done here and there. But majority of it, we do it here. Um, 
it's it's for productivity. It just it just works out better that way. Um, and three, I live in the south part of our city in Louisville. I live in the south, kind of southwest, way in the corner. Well, Google when he does you know blah 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 near me, you know anything that's way out east, way out you know in the, up north, you know. I'm kind of far away. Now, there's only a few people with a pooper scooper service in town. So, uh, it gave us more of a professional address. When customers were writing me checks, they were sitting in my personal house. You know, I just, it's a, it was a security thing. You know, towards that, towards getting everything moved up over here. Um, so, that, that was a, pretty big thing was you know and then really it was when looking for a space it was looking for the right space for what we needed I will tell you we've outgrown it yeah um I've we've definitely outgrown this space um we're gonna look for a bigger space but there are certain things that I need you know, like we like to have our own private bathroom. We like to have, we're on a boiler chiller, chiller here at this old building. So we're at the mercy. They switched over to heat. That's all we have. We don't have air in here right now until spring. Spring, they'll kick it back on air. Well, you know how the weather fluctuates. So, you know, we'd like to have that. We'd like to have our own personal bathroom. That would be nice. Um, and then really like to have a garage space for some of the vehicles are Oil changes are getting really expensive. Um, I took one of our vehicles in for an oil change, and it was like $125 when I got done with it. And I was like, wait, what? Um, and, you know, I can change oil. I just, you know, I'd rather have a garage. So we're going to be looking for that here in the future. Um, I'm on a one-year lease here, and then it just... It goes to a month to month. You pay a little extra for a month to month, or you re-sign the one year. So I'm just going to pay the little extra, you know, and um, because we are, it's winter time. We're going to grow. So, yeah. So that's the biggest question. Is there's the answers of why we, why I decide to lease out an office. So any questions, feel free to give me a call, text, message me. Uh, DerbyCityPoopScoop.com Info at DerbyCityPoopScoop.com uh, Phone number is 502-509-3314 uh, That actually goes to the admin She's, you know, they answer the phone If they can't grab it, it goes on answering service They'll get it to me Have a good day